Well, here we are in our first pheasant walk of the year. We've been on the prairies in the grouse and woodcock woods. Now we're out in the pheasant cover. Beautiful day, Saturday morning. Love it. Get him, bud. That's one. Where are you, bud? Get him, bud. Where is he? Where is he? Here, give me. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good dog. We're on the board. We we've, we've been walking. I don't know. 5 minutes. <laughs> but I'm standing in water, so I'm getting out of here. First rooster of the season. So it was on point right here in this brush. And uh, there that bird came flying right out of there. Could be some woodcock in here. This time of year we find ourselves in southern Wisconsin on the public access pheasant grounds. I have to admit that Wisconsin is not a pheasant destination. Most of these birds are. DNR stocked uh, periodically through the season. The challenge can be fighting the number of hunters as the season goes on. Bird numbers thin way out. You can have yourself a challenging hunt. Okay, it's always nice when a bird gives himself up. Well, just heard a rooster cackling up that hill, so that's where we're going. Come on, man, hunt him up. I've never, never, ever seen him walk like this. Ever. Oh, Jesus, fucking big old buck laying down. So this is our first hunt after spending quite a while in the northern woods uh, hunting rough grouse and woodcock and so he already had well over a hundred miles during that trip. So he's pretty beat up and honestly I had, I had never seen him move this slow on any hunt we've ever been on. So I was a little bit concerned at first. So it was kind of warm. We took it easy, gave him some water and just kind of gave him a break and uh, anytime you're in the north woods and experience as many ticks as we always do you can take as many precautions as you want so you kind of wonder about it and um, you know hope it didn't affect the dog but all was good after that he just need a little bit more rest so we keep pushing this field uh, he's picking up scent here and there but it's real dry today kind of warm and uh, kind of veers off to the right on a little bit of scent and 
as a quick flashpoint. Well, okay. Well, that's the Wisconsin limit, our first day out. Just get two birds. This one kind of, uh, didn't really get a dog point on him. He, he went, we must have been chasing him down the hill and uh, he just took flight and I tell you I'm using these number five Brownings ounce and three eighths dropped him like a stone pretty good distance so I like those loads the weekend warriors continue oh the next weekend we meet up with Mike and Adam and their two labs and push a property uh, none of us have ever hunted before turns out to be very wet. We connect there? <laughs> Can we stay dry? Go all the way to the other parking lot. This one does through yeah. the middle of this whole thing. Yeah, I got really lucky crossing that little creek. I put my foot on something. I'm like, man, that feels solid. I'm like, well, that's the best we're going to get. Like, no and it shit. actually held me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of went over my boot. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wore the rubber boots. Yeah. Don't feel like coming. Mike was the only one that used his head and Put some rubber boots on. Where's the end hunt? Like, where at though? 80 feet right in here somewhere. Right on this edge. <laughs> yeah, I'll be really wet here. He's locked up. There he goes. Watch the ready. Yeah, he's right. Up to the left. Who's left? Dig, here. Dig, here. Sawyer on point here. He's right on this edge of this. Uh, he's right on the edge of this cut. We are right on the edge of public and private access, so that bird is right on the border. It's probably right before that water. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Go ahead. No, I'm not going to go. Yeah, I'm, just gonna yeah, I'm ready. That's not, that's private. You still on point? Yep. Hey, over. I'm up. Sawyer's I'm been up. on point for a long time. He's not going to stand there that long. No. Good boy. He probably gave up on us. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good boy, Sawyer. <laughs> Good dog. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah, dead bird, right here. Come on. Why? Oh shit! Oh, I thought you saw it there. No. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy, Sawyer. No fucking tail feathers on it or nothing. Yeah, he's been. Uh... Yeah, that's find another one over there. This place is all water, and Mike's the only one with any boots. Shit. <laughs> Up. He's on point here. Over there. Where we need boots. <laughs> I think it's right on the edge. I think that cut field is the edge. See if you look at that sign. Yeah. I think it's close enough. Yeah. That's a shootable bird. We we'll, could jump the bird. Okay. Oh, I can see his tail swollen. Yeah. So he. There's definitely a bird there, so. Damn, hit it! 
car. <laughs> well, I could have a real smart ass thing to say about those three shots, but I've done that so many times. I'll give Mike a break. It wasn't long after that, and Mike totally redeems himself. Picks up his second bird, so we go out and see if we can find some more. The only thing we find is swamp water and wind. So we move on to a, another wet mud hole of a field where we come across some woodcock. Woodcock! I'm carrying number five pheasant loads, so I'm not shooting at a woodcock with that. Woodcock! Woodcock! Nose down here. He's on it too. Kind of disappeared. The elephant just disappeared. We got a point here. He's running through here. This bird just keeps running and running a couple hundred yards. <laughs> that was only about 70 yards, I mean. <laughs> that was kind of a dumb shot, but it had to be done. Here. Here we are a couple weeks later and I'm trying to meet up with Tommy and his dog Brody. So we start on the opposite side of the field and trying to meet in the middle. Good boy. Yeah. We hunted pretty hard that day. Didn't see a damn thing, but that's how it goes. We focused so much on grouse and woodcock this season. I probably spent the fewest days of field going after pheasant. So not a lot of action, but second half of the season improves. Weather changes dramatically. We get some snow. Everybody loves a good snow hunt for pheasant. See you next time. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and give the video a like. Helps out the channel quite a bit.